Welcome. In this video, we are going to go over a case of an integral of a rational function that actually does not require partial fraction decomposition. So here, if you notice, the degree of the numerator is larger than the degree of the denominator. This numerator is a third degree polynomial, whereas this denominator is a first degree polynomial. When you are in a case such as this one where the degree of the numerator is larger than the degree of the denominator, you want to apply polynomial long division. If you've seen this before, it was likely in your pre-calculus course. So let's try this. For polynomial long division, let's put the denominator here. And then inside, we're going to put the numerator, x cubed plus 0, x squared plus x plus 0. Notice what I did here. We want to make sure, starting at the highest power, that we include every power less than it. So I started at an x cubed. This does not have any x squared, so I made sure to add a 0 x squared. We had an x, so that is included. And this 0 represents a constant term, which would be x to the 0 power. Now that that is done, ask yourself, what do I need to multiply to x to obtain x cubed? If you said x squared, you're correct. Multiplying x squared times x gives me an x cubed, which I was already expecting. And then I need to multiply x squared to the negative 1 to get a negative x squared. And just as you would for normal long division, at this point, we want to subtract this expression from this expression. x cubed minus x cubed is just 0. 0 x squared minus a negative x squared. This becomes 0 x squared plus x squared is just x squared. Next, before we ask ourselves what quantity can I multiply to x to get x squared, just like you would do for usual long division, you want to take this x and bring it down. So let's go ahead and write in plus x. Now we can ask ourselves, what do I multiply by x to get x squared? If you said x, you're correct, so let's add x here. Now distribute these x, this x to both of these terms. x times x is x squared, so that will go here. x times negative 1 is just negative x. And then of course, and then of course we want to subtract this bottom expression from this upper expression. Positive x squared minus x squared is just 0. Positive x minus a negative x becomes positive x plus x, and that is 2x. Now, since we just have a 0 here, bringing it down really isn't going to do anything. It's going to leave this quantity as 2x, so we don't have to do that. We can go straight into asking ourselves, what can I multiply to x to obtain 2x? If you said 2, you're correct. So 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And we subtract 2x minus 2x. That's just 0. Then 0 minus a negative 2, this becomes 0 plus 2, is just positive 2. So this here is our remainder. From this long division, I know that x cubed plus x divided by x minus 1 is equal to x squared plus x plus 2 plus our remainder of 2 divided by x minus 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and rewrite this integral now. This evaluates to x cubed over 3 plus x squared over 2 plus 2x plus 2 times the natural log of x minus 1 plus a constant c. If you don't see how to integrate this part, please look at the video that should be popping up somewhere in the top right corner of your screen now. I created a separate video showing how to integrate things in the form of x plus a constant a. In this case, the constant is just negative 1, and it doesn't matter what we have multiplied out here, just multiply that to the final integral you get. So that's why I multiplied a 2 there. I hope this video, along with the review of polynomial long division and the links to the additional videos, have been helpful to you.